Hello, chess fans, and welcome to the Start of Chess Channel, and welcome back to the TCEC Season 21 Premier Division. So, the Premier Division has reached now its critical moment again, and uh, it's really wild what happened now. Meanwhile, Lila C0 catched up with the Stockfish End, and Lila C0 has now the same point count like Stockfish End. We'll see probably the epic final again, the Lila C0 versus Stockfish in the Super Final, because now the Dragon Engine, I think, is simply too far away. Uh, Lila C0 and Stockfish are making it for sure uh, to the final. So, I've decided to show you a great gameplay by Stockfish against another top engine Scorpion now from the Premier Division of the TCEC Season 21 because I wanted to show you the different approach of Stockfish where Lila C0 played a more positional battle and also won the game in the same opening that we'll see now. Stockfish on the other hand plays really more tactical games. Uh, Stockfish is trying to attack the position by castling on the queen side where Lila C0 has castled on the king side. So here when we, whenever the, the kings are castled on the same side the game is not so tactical because you cannot open uh, your your position in front of the king too much in order to attack maybe your opponent's king but when you cast the queen side then of course it's possible to open some files open diagonals and then simply launch an early flank attack so that's why i like uh here really stalker's approach uh, in this um, queen's indian defense in the Kasparov variation of the queen's indian defense because uh i think this uh, position has been reached million millions of times and i think you can use some of these attacking ideas by stalker so let's check out now the game and let's check out now to which moment the game was pre-arranged here stockfish uh, played knight to f3 of course this was still the pre-arranged uh, opening line we have d4 e6 so we have c4 and now after move b6 we have the queen's indian on the board so now a3 was still pre-arranged this is now the so-called petrus and Kasparov variation uh, we're preventing this move bishop to b4 because if you play uh, knight to c2 uh, knight to c3 too early then you risk this idea bishop to b4 and then uh, your opponent uh, could maybe double up your pawn structure then after bishop to uh, b seven and knight to e4 i think black could have a comfortable game by controlling simply the centralized e4 square so uh, that's why a3 i think it's one of the most pragmatic ideas to beat the queen's indian simply delaying a little bit the the moves by the knight by the bishop and still uh, preventing this bishop to b4 idea so here uh, bishop to b7 we have knight to c3 bishop to e7 still pre-arranged now d5 still the pre-arranged knight and now after d6 uh, e4 castling bishop to e2 and now the last move uh, that was pre-arranged by the organizer was to move knight from b to d7 and okay let's see now the stockfish approach stockfish stockfish played now the move knight to d4 as i said in the lila c0 versus another uh, um, engine game um, here lila c0 castled on the king side uh, you see now what stockfish does stockfish will castle here on the queen side which is really wild where already the pawn structure is a little bit messed up stockfish is simply castling it's a really really brilliant idea after move knight to d4 here scorpion tried to move knight to c5 it comes of course first of all with the defense of the e6 square but also with a great counter attack against this very weak pawn on e4 so here uh, queen to c2 play by stockfish we have a5 fixing the knight here because uh what we want to do here from black's perspective is to stay a little bit longer with the knight on c5 because now b4 is of course not an opportunity we can take takes and then you lose the rook of course so that's why uh b4 is not an opportunity to kick away this very very powerful knight on c5 so here in the continuation we have bishop to e3 and then we have knight to d7 and now queen side castle here by stockfish so you see many pieces are maneuvered already to the queen side i think this was a very very risky choice by stockfish you see the, the position can be open with c6 b5 uh of course um, also with e takes d5 so as i said castling on the queen side where you have already weakened a little bit your pawn structure here with the move uh, a3 and also with the advanced pawn on c4 so there are several weaknesses that i think uh, in the continuation of the game black could attack so that's why very very uh risky idea by stockfish and as i said a different approach simply to the game because leader c0 in a similar not the same position castled on the king side and the game was more and more positional so here in the continuation we have bishop to g5 because uh, of this centralized pawn structure because many pawns are on dark squares uh, here the scorpion is trying to get rid of its bad piece of the dark square bishop after move bishop to g5 we have f4 by stockfish we have bishop to f6 uh, and now knight from b to d5 attacking now also here uh, this d6 weakness also the c7 weakness in the continuation we have queen to e7 here uh, i wanted to show you how the game game becomes really tactical because of this opposite side castling position if even if you try something like rook to c8 maybe to prepare c6 you can maybe risk this move you see uh, the position can get can get open very very fast here after d takes e6 f takes e6 even e5 could be here an opportunity although it doesn't give maybe such an advantage here for white or for black but i wanted to show you how this game 
can become really really wild in an early stage of the game here after d takes e5 here bishop to c5 gives me opportunity and now after b takes c5 you see all of the pawns are long-term weaknesses from this point on white could have really really comfortable game so that's why after move knight to b5 here uh scorpion realized its tactical possibilities here uh, on the default the tactical problems on the default that's why uh here scorpion played the move queen to e7 and now rook from h to e1 again stockfish plays uh, with the rook where already the queen is because if something gets cleared uh, in the center if something gets open in the center then of course again the queen could be endangered so here c6 play by uh, scorpion scorpion is trying now to battle for the center with the move c6 tries to break the space advantage that white has white has of course this advanced pawn on d5 that's something that has to be broken now in the continuation of the game so we have d6, d6 bishop to c6 we have king to b1 improving of uh, the position of the king first uh, of course the king could be endangered here on the c file because because the c file gets more and more open but there i've calculated also this uh, this line if you play uh, here knight to d6 instead of uh, uh, playing the move king to b1 because this was a long-term weakness the pawn on d6 actually this is not so good because uh, because the game becomes really really wild you get this one bishop to c3 after queen to c3 now knight to e4 is in the possibility here after knight to e4 bishop to e4 c uh here um a scorpion could have also grabbed the centralized pawn on e4 even if white plays now the move bishop to d4 you don't have to even protect this g7 pawn which is really really wild the black could simply develop the uh, rook here to d8 and now after bishop to g7 we could play here f6 and then the bishop has to retreat to h6 and now after knight to c5 although white has the bishop pair and although the pawn structure is already messed up i simply like also black's position because knight on c5 is a great move and you see now there are several tactical possibilities here around the square d3 we can even break through with the move b5 then rook to c8 also opening the c file so it's also a risky position here for white so that's why here in this particular position white cannot take the pawn on d6 it was sort of a poisonous pawn here so uh, that's why king to b1 played by stockfish stock which keeps the game compact uh, first secures the king because stockfish knows that it has has some of attacking opportunities here on the flanks with the move g4 g5 because as we said the kings are on opposite side so it's not the point to take something here in the center it's simply a uh, time to push pawns on on the king side and opening uh files and diagonals on that side of the board so here in the continuation we have rook from f to d8 we have g4 uh g5 here by uh, scorpion scorpion is trying to block a little bit uh white progress on the king side now h4 by stockfish simply pushing the pawns further we have g takes f4 bishop to f4 if you try bishop to h4 now this idea could work because it co comes of course with the tempo bishop to d6 so it's now not so good here for for black to take out this pawn on on, on the h file now with the move bishop to d6 white gets several uh several tempi against the queen and now the rook can come into the game maybe we can play then rook to h3 rook to h1 doubling up the rooks on the h file so it's a tactically lost game here for black so after move uh, bishop to f4 here uh bishop to e5 was played by uh, score we have bishop to g5 bishop to f6 here scorpion is trying to do some perpetuals by uh, simply threefold uh, maybe get a draw or something after move bishop to f6 we have bishop to e3 and now finally scorpion uh, decides to take the pawn because now uh, with, uh, the bishop is not on f4 anymore where it uh, where it attacks of course the d6 pawn so here rook to h1 of course by stockfish simply attacking uh, the bishop we have knight to f8 even if you try here bishop to g5 again then the game again becomes really really wild you get this one knight to d5 really sick game here already in the center of the board knight to d5 then you can maybe take uh, e takes d5 here e takes d5 but this move comes with a direct attack against the h6 uh, square so that's why you would be forced after queen to e3 so you see the game is lost you simply lose the h7 so you would be forced here to play queen to e4 but now after queen to e4 here knight to e4 uh, we get this one uh, d takes c6 and you can maybe try bishop to e3 here white takes also the knight on d7 you maybe can try the fourth but now bishop to f3 counter attack against the rook here rook to b8 this line is pretty much forced rook to b8 and now after rook to d6 you can take of course knight to h1 rook uh, bishop takes h1 but here uh, the engine gives already a pawn uh, to uh, two uh, plus two evaluation here for for white because of this advanced pawn and now in a couple of moves what we want to do is just remaneuver our knight here somewhere to c6 maybe something like knight to a7 and then knight to c6 this advanced pawn i think is simply too much to handle 
uh, here for black so it's again a completely completely winning game here for white so after move the rook to h1 really really wild stuff so as said if you try bishop to g5 uh, knight to d5 is here really a great tactical possibility so in the game knight to f8 here instead of bishop to g5 play by uh, scorpion we have a knight to d4 attacking the bishop here on uh, c6 so that's why bishop uh, to b7 had to be played now g5 he very really brilliant move again by stockfish if you try bishop to g5 of course it's not possible queen to g5 but then you lose the tactics uh here on the g file the queen gets trapped and it's game over again so here after move g5 what uh, stockfish has accomplished is that it's really sort of weird position by the bishop so that's why bishop to g3 had to be played now we have knight to f3 we have bishop to uh, e5 and now knight to h2 uh, if you try knight to e5 here okay uh, you got your bishop uh, d takes e5 of course uh, there are possibilities now to attack the position further but i still think that it's not so good here uh, for white because uh, the pawn structure is now static you cannot open files uh, you cannot open diagonals anymore although maybe you can try, try to take uh, this one out on e5 but here the h7 is so far protected even if you try to play something like g6 to open the position then simply f takes g6 will happen and i think uh black could maybe find a way to defend the position so that's why uh i like this approach by stockfish more knight h2 keeping the game complicated uh but it comes with a problem because you are uh, really here vulnerable around the square e4 because now in the continuation of the game scorpion took bishop takes c3 we have queen to c3 and now knight to e4 so you see stockfish sacrificed now a very very important centralized pawn and the problem is now also the long diagonal has opened so it was really a sick idea here by stockfish um, leaving the centralized pawn and also uh, giving up the rook basically here on h1 because after queen to c2 we have now again knight to c5 here queen, king to a2 was played because if you move the rook of course then you risk some uh, bishop to e4 ideas let's see rook to e1 then you get bishop to e4 then you have to play something like bishop to d3 we can simply take rook takes d3 uh, rook takes d3 but now here you see this uh, this bishop is simply uh too powerful then rook to c8 could happen i think even we could try b5 again just in order to open some uh files against the queen on the c file so it's here a completely completely winning game for black so that's why king to a2 first because uh, the king was endangered here on b1 but of course the rook is hanging now in the continuation we have uh bishop to e4 we have queen to c3 and now again and again a great move here by scorpion play simply knight to a6 because uh after king to c rook to a1 if you try uh to do something else so let's see rook to c1 then you risk also this idea knight to b4 it's really really wild so you don't have so many good squares if you take of course uh here b takes a5 um, uh, a takes b4 will happen uh the queen gets trapped and it's again game over here for white so very very tactical possibilities also in the a file so that's why the stockfish uh, played here instead of some rook moves played things here simply king to a1 we have knight to b4 and now uh, rook to c1 uh pr protecting here this very important c2 square because the threat also of course also here to play knight to c2 and maybe then afterwards knight to e3 so here uh in the continuation uh, scorpion tried knight to g6 we have uh, knight to g4 uh here knight bishop to h1 finally but now after rook to h1 we have now a clear target knight to f6 is now happening and also this h7 pawn is a long-term weakness although uh, of course uh, black is up the exchange but uh, now it's an obvious idea where white will probably attack in the continuation of the game with the support of the bishop pair here black is basically uh, tactically lost the knight has to be maneuvered in one particular moment the knight will not there uh, stay there forever because when white king moves from the a file then of course it's possible to take a takes b4 and then maybe then afterwards queen to b4 so here queen to b7 attacking the rook rook to h2 uh of course getting out of the range but also preventing maybe a very very sneaky move by the queen maybe here if the queen comes on g2 then the queen could be activated so that's why rook to h2 protects also this very important square so rook to a7 we have queen to f6 uh, we have rook to c8 and now bishop to d4 threatening checkmate so that's why it forces now uh black to play the move knight to c2 we have a king to a2 and now finally knight takes d4 queen to d4 and finally um stockfish got rid of this very annoying knight that was on b4 of course uh, stockfish lost also the very powerful dark square bishop but now there are still the dark square problems knight to f6 is a possibility then knight to h7 so again i think black is simply tactically lost so here in the continuation of the game we have queen to c6 bishop to d3 we have e5 queen to f2 uh here queen to c5 was played of course uh scorpion is 
trying to uh, trade off the queen simplify the game if that happens of course then black is simply winning but even if you try something like knight to f4 maybe to attack the bishop the game becomes really really wild this wasn't played in the game but but i've analyzed also this line if you play knight to f4 then you get a very very nice uh, tactical shot rook to h7 even if you try knight to d3 then you get knight to f6 you have to move your king to f8 and now comes the stunner knight to d7 really really wild stuff because if you take here uh, rook to d7 then of course uh, here king to uh, rook to h8 you have only two squares king to g7 or king to uh, e7 whatever you do even if you try king to e7 of course queen to f6 is a checkmate so here after move knight to d7 even if you try king to e7 then it's not even better because of course queen to f6 you can maybe take we take you to uh, play of course king to d8 and now rook to h8 queen to e8 and then after rook takes e8 it's checkmate so you see you cannot centralize your knight here to f4 you cannot activate it because you're opening simply too much uh files too much diagonals here so in the continuation of the game after queen to f2 here uh as we said scorpion tried queen to c5 tried to simplify the game by trading off the queens we have knight to f6 anyway uh king to f8 queen to the um, f3 and now d5 we have c takes d5 e4 here uh, scorpion is trying to open the files for for the rooks uh, to somehow maybe even uh, protect finally the king by playing rook to e7 getting the rook very active because the rook is not doing anything here on the square a7 so in the continuation uh here queen to uh, d6 rook to h7 finally the rook comes very active into the game we have rook to a uh, rook to c7 b queen to h1 now we're threatening also some rook to h8 or queen to h6 idea so the queen uh, the could uh, the king could be here checkmated by uh, this peace activity of white we have knight to e5 attacking the bishop and now uh, rook to h8 king to e7 bishop to f5 counter attacking uh, counter attack against the rook we have rook to c1 and now a great move here by stockfish bishop to c8 because if you take of course uh, rook takes h1 then you get checkmated here on e8 so so far it's not a possibility in the continuation we have queen to f6 g takes f6 but it comes with a check so do you don't have time to take out the queen first you have to play king to d6 and now in this position of course it's game over for black queen to c1 happened and it was game over knight to g6 still a desperate try here by uh scorpion we have a rook to e8 knight to f4 and here after queen to c6 it was a checkmate so great great game uh, here by stockfish again with his brilliant tactics uh, stockfish gave up many pawns stockfish gave up also the rook on h1 with his beautiful exchange sacrifice open some file open some diagonal so as i said it was simply a different approach but because in the lila c0 game lila c0 castled on the king side this game was also beautiful but it was as i said simply a different approach so we'll see again i think in the super final a great approach of tactics against the positional game it's almost like watching gary kasparov versus anatoly karpov so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more brutal attacks like this check out my comment the chess games play by computer series here's the link with some great games played by stockfish alpha zero lila c0 and many many more and if you want to see humans battling it out in their best chess games check out my commented chess games the best chess games of all time series here's also the link and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course